What time is it? Teardown time, of course. This time we've got the Apple Watch Ultra 3 on our teardown table. Just like the first Ultra, the Ultra 3 has four screws on the back, which you might reasonably assume is the way in, but listen to Admiral Akbar. It's a trap. The key to getting to the battery inside the Ultra 3 is heat on the screen and lots of it. After toasting this timepiece for about 20 minutes, I'm taking a very thin metal prying tool and inserting it along the screen edge. Not gonna lie, I've killed two of these screens in my three years working here and I have no intention of breaking another, so I'm taking my sweet time prying this up. With the screen lifted up, I have access to some screws and brackets that let me remove the battery straight away. The Ultra 3 has a 2.313 watt hour battery. That's 6% more energy than the Ultra 2, well shy of the 16% increase in battery life that the Ultra 3 gets. I don't know where the other 10% is coming from, so I'll just assume someone fed the gremlins. The rest of the 3 looks to be the same, so let's take a quick look at the 3D printed titanium case. And if we zoom in real close with Evidence DSX2000 microscope, we can make out what seems to show layer lines from the 3D printing process. The jury's out on this, we'll follow up with a deep dive blog post soon. In the meantime, how about we test the scratch resistance on that 3D printed titanium case? Is it going to be weaker than the Ultra 2's conventionally forged titanium shell? Surprisingly, no, both the anodized Ultra 2 and Ultra 3 scratch at a Mohs level 6, which is harder than just about anything you'd carry in your pocket. What's even more surprising is that the Ultra 1 seems to scratch at a level 5, something the anodized Ultra 2 and 3 shrugged off. The Ultra 1 is not anodized, and I expect that the raw titanium would show scratches less dramatically. For all three watches, any scratches or scrapes across the edges of the frame show up more readily than on flat surfaces, something we found to also be true on the iPhone 17 Pro. As for repairability, it's a below average 4 out of 10. The battery might be the first thing that's accessible once you get in, but that screen removal process is a real pain. 